I'd like to talk briefly about uh, account schedules. And so if I go to Departments, General Ledger, we see we have account schedules and we have analysis by dimension here. And under these account schedules, what these really are, this is a way for the accounting and finance group to go out and create their own financial statements based upon either the general ledger chart of accounts or the analysis views that they have here. So you could create income statements, balance sheets. For example, here is a default balance sheet that's been set up. And this allows you, it's a, a way where you can go out and basically create any kind of financial information that you want from Dynamics NAV. I want to do a brief overview of an area called account schedules in Dynamics NAV. And if we go into the general ledger area, we see analysis by dimensions, which we've already looked at, and then we see account schedules. And if I click on this, I get a listing of the available account schedules that are set up uh, currently in the system. And I'm going to take a look at uh, these two at the bottom because uh, they are uh, they're similar, but they have some uh, a major difference here. So the first one I want to look at is this one called Revenue 2. So I'm going to just take this and I'm going to edit this account schedule. And what this is doing is that uh, this top line creates a, a header for the report, if you will. It's just called revenue. And then um, the number, the rows have been numbered 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This 15 um, was inserted in between because it's always a good idea to make, make these row numbers so that you can insert lines in between them in case you forget to put something in. So basically what this is doing is that this is pulling up a each of these are pulling up a totaling account. And if we look at the totaling account that they're pulling up, they're pulling up everything in the revenue area. So they're in the 40 to 43,000 range. And so they're pulling up totaling accounts for these various areas out here, total sales resources, total sales raw materials, and so on and so forth. So they're bringing up totaling account 41,300, 41,500, 42,500, and so on and so forth. The last row is a row that's called total sales, and it is a formula. And what it's actually doing is it's summing rows 10 through 40. So 10 dot dot 40 tells the system to sum up all of these rows for us. And if we take a look at the at what this looks like and do an overview of this, what this is actually doing here is that it is uh, bringing up the information from the general ledger chart of accounts. It's also looking at budget information here because that's what the column does, this, this uh, column layout for it. And in addition to that, I can set filters down here if I would want to. I could filter departments, projects, any of these other areas that we want to. And so this is just kind of a, a quick and easy kind of review that we can do. We can change this from a month to quarter to year uh, we can set this to look in uh, basically by different date filter ranges here. So this is displaying financial information for revenue from our GL chart of accounts. I can also go up and change the column layout for this report. So if I were to go up here, for example, and I'd pick period and year to date for this, it would completely change the way that this financial report is displayed. And now I see revenue in the current period and year to date. So this uh, column layout that I have here is very critical as to how my data is displayed in any of my reports. If I close this up and then go take a look at this next one, what I want you to notice here is that this one is actually using an analysis view. It's not using the general ledger chart of accounts as such. It's using the compressed version of the, of the, of the general ledger entries that are contained in the analysis view called revenue. So when we look at this account schedule, it has some different features here. One of the things that it's doing is it's pulling up GL account numbers still because the GL account numbers from the analysis views are just compressed. So it's pulling up basically the same kind of information that the other report was doing. And here they've numbered these from uh, these rows from 11 to 15. Um, just as I told you that I would not normally do, I'd like to leave 
areas between these numbers so that I can do inserts. They also put some footer areas in here where they're going to um, actually summarize these things in slightly different ways. So they've gone out and they've actually gone to the area code here and they're going to get revenue for area code 10 through 30 and give you a total because they're specifying that here. And if we take a look at this, these are the area code dimension values, 10 through 30, which is Northern Europe. And then they sum up 40 through 85 in the second column. So what they're really doing here is giving, getting some sum totals on this based upon um, filters that they're putting on the area codes out here. So kind of a, a different way to display this data, but uh, kind of interesting. So if we take a look at what this actually looks at, like what we see here is that we have um, we have basically the same kind of information that we had had before. Same numbers are up here. And down below, we can see this breakdown that we have of the uh, 10 through 30 totals and then the 40 through 85. And when you sum these up, the totals still match. They've just given you some subtotals down here. So kind of a, um, uh, a different way that you can approach uh, account schedules, some running from the GL uh, chart of accounts themselves and some running from analysis views.